humans, it's just Martine, and today I'm going to be working on outlining my writing project, Project Boy Band. If you missed it, in my last writing video, I reread one of my writing projects, and I was talking about how I want to rewrite it. Interestingly enough, I have tried so many times to outline a story and then write it, it doesn't work. Like, I can outline the whole thing multiple times even, and it's still... It still doesn't work. The farthest I've gotten is like halfway through a project and then I stopped. Yeah, that's a bad habit of mine. But you know what I can outline second drafts. As soon as there's one full draft written, my brain is like, you can write this cause you already did. So then I can outline, even if it's a completely different outline from what was originally in the story. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. So I'm going to be opening up my Scrivener file. Maybe I should adjust you so you can see it. Product boy band, wow it is all the way down at the bottom of the list of projects. So this is what it looks like. Originally in the first draft, there were 51 chapters in an epilogue. No, 51 chapters of prologue in an epilogue, so technically 53 chapters if we're going to get specific. So I'm just gonna move this whole draft into a folder called draft one and move it out of here. If you're looking for tips on how to use Scrivener, you've come to the wrong place. I can't I cannot help you. I started making a what the current out outline is and made a page for the restructured outline back when I thought I was going to rewrite this in the spring of 2020. I'm just gonna delete this because honestly, I don't care about the original outline because I read it and I hate everything about the original outline, as you will, the order of events. We're gonna restart the plotting entirely and i would like to start by adding a page called ideas because i'm brilliant creative and original all three of those things so my ideas page i technically have a note on my phone and since i have a mac it is handily synced here where i have written down these specific ideas ideas that i got while i was trying to sleep i get my best ideas while I'm trying to fall asleep. And by trying to fall asleep, I mean genuinely, I was trying to have these ideas, but I was in bed with my eyes closed. I had this conversation with myself like three nights in a row, and I was like, tonight is going to be the night where I figure out where in the timeline I want to start telling the story again. But I didn't for several nights in a row, and then I did. Do I think it's fully correct? I still don't know. None of my stories will ever feel fully correct. And if you are also a writer or a creator of any kind, then you know this to be absolutely true. No matter how hard you work on something or how much time you spend on it, it will always feel just a little bit wrong to you and imperfect. And that's because perfection is a facade. If you think something is perfect, you're embracing its flaws as something good. That's my nugget of wisdom for the day. So I've added these ideas from this note, including the starting points. I, wow, I already made an ideas folder. Now I'm moving my ideas page into that and I'm going to call notes from my iPhone instead. I'm really great at this, guys. Then I think I'm going to put a space where I have my free writing. And once I copy all this free writing from my free writing journal to these different pages, wherever they go, I want to further categorize them so that I can pick them apart for the correct scenes. Like there's specific passages that I wrote in the free writing journal about like Booker's identity and stuff. And I want those to be separate from like his ideas on music. If you feel, if you feel me. So now I just have to start adding to this free writing actually. So this is gonna be the boring part, but I'll make it look super fast. Okay, I finished transcribing all of the things in my free writing journal that I'd flagged for Manhattan to say because all of her stuff is in verse. So it's like almost 1,500 words. Those were the shorter ones. So I'm not gonna do the rest of these, oh no, the rest of these today, but at least I got a solid start. Today, I'm taking a break from transcribing my free writing to actually focus on what I want this draft to look like. And to do that, I've made a page in Scrivener 
titled Motivations, and I have the two main characters' names lined up there, and I'm going to think about what is motivating them in this story so that I know what type of arc I'm looking at here. This is going to be a challenge for me, and it's probably going to end up really badly because I am terrible about figuring out my character's motivations. I genuinely don't know if any of my characters have truly developed motivations, and that's something that I need to work on because it obviously provides the story its drive. You don't have to have the craziest plot as long as the character has something that they want and they're working towards it. And um, sometimes I feel like my stories lack that a little bit. N not really, but like I think about that in my mind. So I want to explicitly figure out not some fluffy working around their motivations type way, but like figuring out what do they want, nitty gritty. This is a real person in my mind. What does their heart need? So I'm going to try to do that right now. Um, wish me luck. I just found this website. I'm going to try to leave linked down below. It's the character motivation thesaurus. And there are only certain entries that are unlocked so that they have the full information for it. But I even just use this list of types of motivation. And even with the ones that aren't unlocked, they still give some really good information. Like this is what they don't cover in the locked version. So this is super cool and it helped me. It's something I'm usually bad at. So making progress. Tonight's research consists of this. A little update for you. After watching like all of those videos, I started coming up with my different plot lines. So I listed the two main characters and then under each character bullet pointed the main plot lines that are associated with them. Then I also have a both or non applicable section. And then under each of those, I got potential scenes or discussions that I can incorporate into scenes. Let's say for the main character who's the front man of the boy band, one of the bullet points is fame as a part of the plot and how fame affects people. And so within that, we can have discussions on dealing with fans, on press, on the on the go nature of it and all those things. So those are indented. And then I have those for like all of them. And now I just have to string it into like some coherent type of outline instead of just a bunch of random thoughts. But I don't think that's an issue for tonight because I just don't have the brain power for it. But I'm happy with the progress I've made so far. And I might transcribe some of my free writing because I still feel like working on this but I also don't feel like thinking too hard and I'm listening to music right now to do this so that might be the move. It may or may not be several days later and I may or may not still be transcribing the entries from the free writing journal but that's okay because I really haven't had the brain power to do any writing aside from that so I still feel like I'm making progress on the one hand but on the other hand I don't have to try too hard so uh, that's great. That's my update for you. I just finished transcribing the passages that I wanted from this notebook uh, to have digitally. I'm still gonna keep this notebook, but it came out to 5,561 words transcribed. So, booyah, now I can actually plot the rewrites and I can't drag my feet as much, but um, had to be done, so. Here's what's happening. I have Scrivener up. I made all these fun cards with different scenes in the order that I thought would work. This is just a draft of the outline. My outlines are not very lengthy. Like literally this one card says start of tour. That's all I'm going to need to know. Like I'm just gonna have creative freedom with what that scene actually looks like. So I did this and right now I have 36 scenes, which is pretty good. So I'm going to let this sit for the rest of the day. I'll come back to it hopefully tomorrow and see if I like it. Of course, I can always adjust it while I'm actually writing it, but for the original outlining phase, we might be almost done. Today, I ended up taking a look at the outline that I made yesterday, and I think it's perfectly good enough for now for me to start writing this. I still am going to, at some point, have to separate different free writing into different categories, but that's not something that I'm necessarily going to worry about doing before I officially start rewriting this book. So that means that this is the end of this outlining video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. Do you outline your writing? Are you more like me, more relaxed? If you do write and you write second drafts, do you outline only second drafts and not first like me? Or am I weird? I don't know. And if you don't write, comment down below anything you want really. I'm always up to hear what you guys have to say. And subscribe for more reading, writing, and college lifestyle content. And until next time, bye humans, bye!